Hi everyone, welcome back to Noble Flowers. This is Phaedra and we flower farm and sell retail in northeast Victoria in the southeastern side of Australia. So welcome. Uh, today I'm going to show you pretty much just film myself making the bouquets for today. So we sell roadside. It's Tuesday. We will sell roadside from 3.30 till 6.30 p.m. Uh, this spot has been a bit slow lately so we may change it up but what I'm going to do is just prep everything. We actually went to the wholesaler this morning. I got some more Easter Daisy. Isn't it so pretty? But it's a lot of prep work on it. So what I've got to do is just like fix up all the stems, get all the leaves off the stems. Just I do this with everything. When I'm picking out in the field, I strip everything as I go. And when I bring stuff home from the wholesaler, I strip it and I prepare everything. So as I'm making bouquets, all I have to do is pull stems out of the buckets. Every now and again, I have to just clean something up a bit more. Um, but it just makes it so quick. And for me, it's more enjoyable. So this is a bit of a boring job. In every job, there's things that you just don't like doing, and this is one of mine. I just really don't like, oh, that's my herbal tea there. Keep throwing flowers on it. Um, every job, there's always something that you just don't really like doing. So, and this is mine. Washing buckets is another one I don't really enjoy, but my daughter, I now pay her 10 cents a bucket. So, <laughs> she's happy, I'm happy. I got my buckets, I got my bucket washer now. So I'll work on this. Moroni's got the foliage. The foliage today is oak, which you can't see. Oak. And we're kind of making the most of that at the moment because we're coming into autumn, the oaks are going to start losing their leaves, which means we are down one of our staples for foliage. And I've got um, Cosmos foliage. And this is a mulberry tree that I'm sitting under and I will often use leaves off it because they last really well in a vase. And they're nice and big and they kind of look a little bit like um, hydrange, hydrangea leaves. So they look really nice in a bouquet. And when I'm making bouquets, I know that lots of people have recipes and they just go bang, 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 bang and they make sort of a whole heap of the same thing which we will do down the track but for now we I just sort of make what I feel like at the time and in my head I'm doing that pricing formula make sure that I keep everything priced well even though it's summer and the majority of the stuff that we're using we're growing ourselves we still have to keep that pricing in check because moving into winter we will be buying most of our flowers so we can't go from you know big amazing huge you know full bouquets to little tiny ones in the winter and expect our customers to understand that so we just keep it consistent for the for all of the year um yeah so big stems that have got lots of side shoots fairly too low down for me I, I want to bring them back up to about here I will keep these so I keep them for posies I don't like to waste anything especially if I have to go pay for it we bought two bunches this morning but look it's so That. I'll pop that in a bucket and get on to the next thing.
These are some mixed posies. I'll just pull those apart. Some proteas, they're very small. Um, so we've got two of these and one of these. What am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah. Mummy's doing flowers. Can you say flowers? James, flores. Good boy. Say flowers. Good boy. This is one of my favorites. It is imported. It's called a chrysanthemum dispud. And this is how it comes. They're, they actually get shipped over to Australia in a box, so they're not in water. You know, like they can't really fly flowers over in water, so things come out of water. Um, but yeah, this is, I, I leave the wrapper on it until I'm ready to use it. But just to show you, very pretty it's this massive big pom-pom so when i'm preparing the flowers i actually don't do much to these until i'm ready to use it all i do i don't even pull them out of that plastic i take the rubber band off and i trim the ends and i put them in fresh water and that's all i do until i'm ready to use them because i just i mean they're, they're pretty old flowers at this point by the time they've left their country of origin, been on a plane, sat in, I think it's called quarantine in Australia, and then shipped to the wholesaler, sat at the wholesalers. Um, and the wholesalers don't change the water. So if it's been at the wholesaler for a while, it's sitting in old water, but that's all I do. So we got two of them. So take the rubber band off. Give it a snip i do about this much you just have a look at where it's up to but i reckon by the time i get to there the stems will be good to go again and i will put them in fresh water i've just put them in old water but i'll put it in fresh water and that's our prep done what i have been doing over summer is making the, the bouquets inside because it's too hot outside i'll just quickly prep things out here just to strip everything so that it doesn't make a huge mess inside and then I will make, um, I'm doing it in early morning. I'll make the bouquets, wrap them inside, put them in a bucket and keep them in the cool until we head out roadside. But today it's actually quite cool outside. I'm going to do the whole lot outside. It's just easier to film. And then we will store them inside until we go later today. So I'm all set up. I'll go through what I've got. I've got our water buckets over here. They're ready. Oh, I've got my offcuts, like my scraps, foliage, oh, where's the other one, foliage, and Moroni has gone to get some um, of the blue gum uh, papers, just my stuff, stickers and, you know, the stuff I need, herbal tea, because I need that, um, and then all of our flowers, so this is the stuff from the wholesaler, the natives, the disc buds, Easter daisy so I won't use all of that today that will last us a couple of days so I'll probably just use maybe a third of it dahlias they're down here because they they were in boiling water when I picked them so they're sitting there and we've got all the flowers that I picked last night and they have been resting in the cool so I've got celosia a lot of them are very short though so I'm not going to be able to actually use a lot of that. The Cosmos foliage, uh, I've got a video on that, how we cut it and use it. Some Cosmos in buds, that's how I put them in bouquets. I will put a couple of open ones, they won't last very long though. Sunflowers, uh, this is just a little bit of a mix. So we've got some Asters, um, Sweet William, more Asters, a little bit of uh, Status, some basil, a couple of little roses, our feverfew, tansy and zinnias. So a nice little collection of flowers to work with today. So I'm gonna just film myself making bouquets. Oh. Oh, branches are falling off the trees everywhere. Another one just fell off. 
That is the problem with gums. They just drop their branches. It's actually quite dangerous. Okay, I'm just gonna wait. I'll probably get going more and I'll bring back the gum and then we'll get crack a lacking. <laughs> bad so I've got a little bit of um, native stuff I've got some disbuds and some Easter oh, I thought I had more of that um, Easter Daisy these dahlias I didn't use this one's really big but she's not looking too good and these ones this is the Mexico one I think they're a bit old so I didn't want to put those in I've got a little tiny bit of cosmos left some Celosia, but it's a bit short. Oh, well, that one's actually okay. These, a bit short. Um, too short. I don't like using zinnias, so I didn't use them. And some bits of basil, which I probably should have put in. Oh, and I've got three sunflowers. I need those for tomorrow. 
I'll show you what bouquets I've made. I've also made a couple of orders I've got to go deliver today. I've got a big one here I've got to deliver and this medium one I need to deliver as well. And for roadside, I've got, so 255s. It's got dahlias, but I've popped some native in it as well. So it lasts a bit longer, a native bunch. And then I've got, what have I got? Eight 35s. So give you a look. I've done a mix of blooms that last a long time and ones that go off quick. Job's done. I might take you down roadside this afternoon and show you. So we're hoping to sell all of this today. Rona's setting up his car. We still haven't got the van sorted. So I just clean up. I've got my trolley cleaned out, ready for picking this afternoon. I'll give this all a sweep. To the habit of cleaning your workspace after every time it'll always stay nice even if it's you don't have a workspace even if it's outside like me um i can't wait until that studio well actually i think we're going to do the flower shed over there now just can't wait to have a space where everything's set up i don't have to worry about the wind blowing the papers i don't have to work around other things i don't have to worry about moving things backwards and forwards. It just adds a lot of time onto making bouquets because I can't just walk into a space, make them up, clean up and walk out. So anyway, that's the probably not the next project, but a project. I forgot that we have to do photos. So every, every day we do a little photo shoot of the flowers and I do things around the farm and that's how we keep our Instagram looking good. So we're going to do that now. Except Moroni is going to take it because he can't be in the photos because look what he's wearing. Well, but I mean the video. Oh yeah, but for Instagram it's not going to... Okay. <laughs> Hey, now I'm off. I'm going to go do deliveries. Rona is going to get ready to go and we will meet up later tonight. I would normally, after I've done these photos, sit down, quickly edit them. It only takes me like 10 minutes. Pop them up on Instagram and advertise today's flower bunches and try, try and organize sales early. Um, but I am a bit late now, so... I'm going to have to just get on the go and I've got photos from the other day. So I'll use those and do some advertising up on Instagram stories. Let people know where we are, even though we're in the same spot every Tuesday. And it is sort of just a relentless advertising to keep your sales up. You've got to stay on it all the time. So that's what we're doing.
Down here you can throw drugs in the water if you want. It's allowed. He cleaned the rock. <laughs> Good boy. Yes. You're clever. You can go get it. Oh, yes. Okay.